Look at that freaking lawn. That'll look nice. This is, the landscapers were out here. So they uh, they cleaned everything up. They actually didn't do too bad. Um, I gotta get out of that sun. I'd kind of prefer that they didn't uh, chop down the, uh, the bushes and shrubs quite so much. I guess I can ask them to not get so um, like geometric with them. But uh, anyway, this is not gonna be another video blog about my yard. It's just a gorgeous day. In Vegas today, the high's like, I don't know, 73, 74. There's almost no wind. It, the air smells clean. It, the birds are chirping. It's really nice. And it's complete contrast to what's happening right now and what's been happening for basically the last week, really, but the last, uh, what, 18 hours in uh, the Boston area, specifically Watertown, Cambridge, the suburbs, uh, and Boston. Everything's on lockdown, as you guys know. If you've been watching the news, watching Twitter, watching probably Facebook, I don't know because I haven't been on Facebook, um, you know that there's a manhunt for the second... Uh, bombing suspect from the marathon uh, the 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 first one is dead after a uh, shootout with cops um, I was up <clears throat> until later than I should have been uh, just watching this stuff happen on Twitter a lot of information a lot of misinformation um, Steve Inskeep from uh, morning edition on NPR pretty much said it best when he was talking about their own reporting he said we're just collecting the dots we're not connecting them right now we're just collecting the dots that was a that was a really I it was a really insightful thing for him to say now to be fair listening to NPR today the collecting the dots was still pretty much like a an audio version of Twitter I mean basically it was a lot of Oh, here's the latest thing we found out. Here's another thing we found out. Oh, wait, this contradicts the other thing. Oh, well, let's speculate this thing. Even though there was a... It would be like, oh, wait, we're, we're going to protect ourselves by saying we know that we're speculating right now. Um, that, that doesn't make it any better. But, you know, I, everyone's doing what they can. We're beyond the 24-hour news cycle. We're the multi-channel, all-at-once news cycle. And the fact is, people are going to post stuff all over social media now whenever anything happens and if you happen to be in the neighborhood of where something's going down yeah you're gonna get it out there before the 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 mainstream media has a chance to the thing is that doesn't mean that the mainstream media is being replaced by people just posting the news as it happens no the mainstream media's job and the professional trained press has the responsibility to take that information that's coming in and collect it, as Inskeep said, collect the dots, connect the dots, analyze, follow up, make sense of everything, verify information, verify their sources. Uh, that's, that's how mainstream media and social media or new media or whatever you want to call it can work together. And they should work together. It's complementary. It's not one replacing the other. You know, it's, 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 it's a whole package deal. Anyway, very strange time. Um, there's a lot of other big events in the world happening at the same time, but obviously, we live here in America. We're going to be focused on things happening here. Uh, a major American city being on lockdown for a whole day just to look for one guy. That hasn't really happened before. Boston's not a small town. I mean, geographically, it's small, but density, it is not. Uh, <clears throat> anyway... That's my, that's my media analysis for the day. Now you don't need to listen to On the Media this weekend on uh, NPR. Now you can. Um, yeah, I've just been checking in on this stuff in between work. I have, <laughs> I have deadlines up the wazoo, uh, all for different publications at the same company, which is fine, which is great. Uh, I want to talk about that at a different time, but I may as well talk about it when the stuff gets closer to being done or so I can, when I have something I can show you. Uh, so for now, I'm going to sign off. This has been the Friday Awesome Video Blog. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed it. You probably didn't, because who really cares about media analysis, except for media nerds like me? I don't know. I'll see you guys later. Hey, look, there's dog. I think there were dogs. Whatever.